Hello guys, this video shows the benefit of using the Slice Boolean tool. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, guys. It's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mix, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So, you know, we know subtraction, we know addition, we know um, intersection, but I'm not sure why I like to use the slice the most. So let's say, for example, I create a little box like this, pressing C. All right, and then uh, I go ahead and select this face and, you know, press O. And then I select this and just kind of uh, extrude here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select all these edges and just kind of give us a fillet. Right, so let's say that I want to have something on the inside right here. So let's say I want to have another box on top of there. So I'm going to go ahead and create a box right here. All right, so you can see um, this is the, the default difference. We got Q, which is union. Problem with this, though, is that it's going to go ahead and connect on the inside as well, which you may want. Let's say I don't want that. Well, that's a simple solution. So as we insert this box here, we're gonna go ahead and press uh, Shift Q for slice. All right, actually, let's let's do a new body, and that way I can also select the top. I can move this up if I want that to be like so. I'll select both of these. I'll press Q, Shift Q for slice. And so what this has now done is, if I move this apart, it's given us this piece, it's given us that piece, it's given us this piece. So the solution. I mean, this is a great method for having like a, a bunch of shapes together. If you want them to like animate apart. But the solution to this now, guys, is we just go ahead and select the inside and we just go ahead and delete that. And we just go ahead and, uh, you know, QQ that. You can see how Slice allows us to do that. All right, so that's a very nice benefit right there. Another nice benefit is that if you insert an object through here and then just press Shift Q, you're going to get some nice benefits. You're going to get both the little hole right there that you can get with Subtract, but also a little piece inside of here which means I can now easily select this and give this a different color. And that's going to be, um, you know, that's a nice way to insert some nice you know, vis visual details there, like, like a separate piece right here. So I find it very useful for that as well. And so, a lot of times, for example, in line art, you have the dark lines. Um, you know, 3D doesn't work the same way as line art, but you still want the kind of same details you get from line art, little dark, uh, dark areas. So to show what I mean, if I just go ahead and quickly create a little, you know, detail here. You know, something like that. All right, and then I would press uh, O for offset. All right now, I'll select this and I'll press C and I'll select both of them. So in, in line art, you would just have a black line here. But since we don't have that, we can go ahead and give that a little black material here. And we kind of get a very similar effect uh, to having line art. So I find that using a slice uh, gives us that effect very easily with the details. So instead of just having these details, you know, if we did not if we did not do this, we would have to have the process of either inserting something in there, or we could select this uh, E D B for a new object and give this a different material. But slice allows us to get that much much easier, much faster. And so after we we've done that. Uh, we can select this and uh, chamfer this and maybe add a quick little detail here. And maybe uh, chamfer this as well. So it's a very nice way of quickly getting details like so. Alright guys, that's the benefits of using Slice. 
If you know any other great ways to use it, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and take care.